COVID-19 has raged on relentlessly and taken thousands of lives, leaving the medical world in a quandary. India too has been no exception. Thousands become victims every day, especially in the big cities. It was a big challenge for us at Ramaya Medical College and Hospital to understand this virus and build a protocol to treat the patients who flooded the hospital. We rose to the occasion and were the first teaching hospital to volunteer to treat this highly infectious disease. By the end of March and early April, we were able to start a dedicated COVID facility. So we oxygenated all the 180 beds. So we made two or three beds, ventilator enabled beds. We were also the first probably to enable a dialysis bed also in that. Now from here, we have five war rooms. From each war room, the consultant outside will speak to the consultant inside as well as the patients inside every day on a day-to-day -day basis, on a patient-to-patient -to -patient basis. A virtual rounds is done from outside to take care of every patient. Working out a treatment method, learning the right way to don and doff the PPEs, nutrition for the patients, online consultation, an information hub for the people, a war room where doctors give individual attention to the patients was all part of the training and confidence building measures. Teamwork is now the keyword which has helped us overcome many hurdles to handle this unprecedented crisis. The process put in place has now become a benchmark in handling this disease. And in the COVID care center overall, I think the designing, implementation, functioning and the overall picture, I think personally I feel we have set a benchmark and I think any other hospital willing to uh, start a COVID care center, I think we would be pioneers in this with this experience. Doctors from all departments have put in their expertise to strengthen the treatment mode. As a Ramaya group, we have taken what is said as the first step center. So here we have established in the first, cent first step center, the, that is the screening and then triaging of all that is of each patient occurs in this center. And then we are ensuring that these, pen these patients reach the appropriate uh, hospitals or institutions to get the right care. By using technology, so our human exposures will come down. What we do is we integrate the, all the ventilators and your monitors and including the drugs which are going will be incorporated. This will be transmitted outside. There will be dedicated doctors who will be sitting. He gets this minute to minute recordings and he can guide the persons who will on the ground. So virtually it reduces the human exposure. See, we put them through the process of counseling about the virus disease per se. We put them through the counseling of how to protect oneself against getting infection when they are working with COVID patients. We also taught them that this is not a social disease. This is a disease that can affect anybody. So the ethos and uh, uh, the counseling that is required to take care of any patient needs to be inculcated in the people working with COVID patients also. What we usually do is we have an orientation program uh, about a few days before these warriors go in and we feel that more and more healthcare workers are remaining safe at the end of their work than at the start of the pandemic. As far as the future is concerned, uh, uh, we know that molecular testing is something that uh, we are now comfortable with and uh, uh, so it could still be on for uh, COVID. Now, needless to say, the whole experience has been extremely overwhelming. Right from the moment that we get to know that it is our turn to go in next to the COVID OT or ICU or the ward. When the education or the awareness in the community increases, all this physical distancing, mask wearing, all this uh, hand sanitization, it's more of a community disease and more of a attitude disease where the mental attitude has to change of the population so that is the biggest challenge uh, we had to remind ourselves that we are doctors and we are here for a higher purpose in life and uh, throughout our profession we have only been instilled with the sense that our duty lies with the society and in making somebody else better 
So I think that was what was the driving motivation uh, in getting over our fears. We don't have fear now and we know how to take care of ourselves. At the same time, we take care of our patients also. So at this point, we can tell that we are much more confident. We know that in our minds, we have to constantly keep ourselves aware of the precautions that are to be taken regarding the do's and don'ts of the disease. Uh, whether we are in the hospital or whether when we go back to our uh, houses or we are in the community. I think COVID is teaching the whole world. Uh, uh, along with that, we are also learning. We are also learning not to miss the non-COVID other condition which mimics COVID. So you need to have a lot of knowledge about the non-COVID which we have seen for over so many years which is very similar to the COVID. So we cannot mess it up like uh, heart diseases. The heart diseases also will have respiratory problems. She'll also have breathing difficulty. That doesn't mean that she's COVID and I don't treat her. But at the same time, we cannot ignore that COVID is not there. So unless and otherwise proved, we have to take them as COVID and treat them accordingly. For Team Ramaya managing this pandemic, a COVID is not just our duty. It has been a passion. It has been a movement and it has been an emotion we at Ramaya know for sure that we are here to serve the society in right earnest. We know for sure that the very essence of our existence is our duty to the society. We have demonstrated very well the outcomes of a very strong team effort. We believe in the spirit and enthusiasm of the team effort. We shall keep going to serve the society. I did the COVID eight, eight days. First, it was very difficult to do with PPE. Adad mele iva gella salpa settle agi de. Naavali duty vi maadi banda ad mele iva gella rono nam friends ella duty maada ke mundhe bharta idare. Aliro patient kuda tumba kushi patta idare. So naav ma namma duty ad mele yella friends ella naav maadve ko naav maadve ko. I tarra sa rogi gal seve maada do tumba good opportunity. We are committed. Idu namma kartha vya kuda. We are together in this fight. A vital arm of this protocol is the biomedical waste management which is systematically dealt with every day. Community Medicine Department uh, conducted a state level uh, awareness program on uh, safe management of biomedical waste management across all the healthcare facilities in the state uh, which is managing COVID cases. And uh, uh, we also have now initiated a survey on uh, looking at uh, community management of biomedical waste management also the uh, biomedical waste management at the healthcare facilities, be it the COVID or the non-COVID situation. We have a team of nurses working along with us. It was a big challenge because we had to re reorient all the nursing staffs and the other healthcare workers in order to do according to the guidelines that has been given by the Pollution Control Board. Every day we generate about 350 to 450 COVID waste and 250 to 350 non-COVID waste in our institute. So it is disposed according to the protocol set by the government of India. A plasma bank in the premises is a novel, successful way to treat the infection. Convalescent COVID plasma is a treatment option available for COVID patients who are in the hospitals in the moderate stage. Hence, Ramay Medical College and hospitals have established a state-of-art plasma donation center for the COVID patients, which will be useful for the patients and at and, and large in the hospitals. This is a process in which we are taking plasma from the patients who have recovered from the COVID and this plasma will be transfused for the patients who are in the moderate stage of the disease, who are getting treatment at various hospitals across the state. Patients have been grateful for the extreme care and compassion by healthcare workers. MS Ramaya Aspatriya na utchi kitse ke daakla adaga na nge bed sikto, bolle kade na nge shishurushe kuda sikto. Doctors ko namma manavsthaire vana hechista idro, namma jete bandh matar ta idro. Kili na pratyobha nurse kuda PP kitta na darisi 24 into 7 na nge ipat nalku gante yu kuda namma counter le, andre tamma counter le kuthko na namma na watch mar ta idro. I madhyam galle yena la vardi mar ta idro na wo. So, we have to do this. We have to do this. But, we have to do this. 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 We have to
ಯಾಕೆಂದ್ರೆ ನಾವ್ ಏನೇ ಬರೀಬೇಕಾದ್ರೂ ಕೂಡ ಇನ್ನೊಂದ್ಸರಿ ನಾವು ಕೂಲಂಕುಷವಾಗಿ ಪರಿಶೀಲನೆ ಮಾಡಿ ಬರೀಬೇಕು ಅನ್ನುವಂತ ಮನೋಭಾವನೆ ನನಗೆ ಉಂಟಾಯ್ತು ಯಾಕೆಂದ್ರೆ ಇಲ್ಲಿ ಆ ರೀತಿಯಾಗಿ ಚಿಕಿತ್ಸೆ ನಮಗೆ ಸಿಕ್ತು ವಿ ಆಲ್ ಟೆಸ್ಟೆಡ್ ಪಾಸಿಟಿವ್ ಫಾರ್ ಕೋವಿಡ್ ನೈನ್ಟೀನ್ ಆ ಡಾಕ್ಟರ್ಸ್ ಮತ್ತೆ ನರ್ಸಿಂಗ್ ಸ್ಟಾಫ್ ಮತ್ತೆ ನಮ್ಮ ಅದರ್ ಸಪೋರ್ಟಿಂಗ್ ಸ್ಟಾಫ್ ಅವರು ಪಿ ಪಿ ಕಿಟ್ ಹಾಕೊಂಡು ಬಹಳ ದೇ ಆರ್ ಟ್ರೂ ಕೊರೋನಾ ವಾರಿಯರ್ಸ್ ಆ್ಯಕ್ಚುಲಿ ಅದು ಎಂಟ್ ಆರು ಗಂಟೆಗಳ ಕಾಲ ಹಾಕ್ಕೊಂಡು ಕೆಲಸ ಮಾಡೋದಿದೆ ನೋಡಿ ಬಹಳ ಕಷ್ಟ ಸೊ ವಿ ಹ್ಯಾಟ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಟು ಆಲ್ ಕೊರೋನಾ ವಾರಿಯರ್ಸ್ ವಿ ಆರ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಗ್ಯಾಡ್ ಅಪ್ ಫಾರ್ ದಿ ಪಾಸಿಬಲ್ ಆಫ್ಟರ್ ಇಫೆಕ್ಟ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ದಿ ವೈರಸ್ ಐ ಥಿಂಕ್ ದ ಫ್ಯೂಚರ್ ಇಸ್ ಐ ಥಿಂಕ್ ಐ ಥಿಂಕ್ ವಿ ಆರ್ ಗೋಯಿಂಗ್ ಟು ಪೀಕ್ ಸಮ್ ಟೈಮ್ ಇನ್ ದ ನಿಯರ್ ಫ್ಯೂಚರ್ ಲೈಕ್ ಇಟ್ಸ್ ಹ್ಯಾಪನ್ಡ್ ಇನ್ ಡೆಲ್ಲಿ ಇಟ್ಸ್ ಹ್ಯಾಪನ್ಡ್ ಇನ್ ತಮಿಳ್ನಾಡು ಐ ಆಮ್ ಶ್ಯೂರ್ ಕರ್ನಾಟಕ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ವಿಲ್ ಪೀಕ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ದೆನ್ ಸ್ಲೋಲಿ ಐ ಥಿಂಕ್ ಇಲ್ ಸ್ಟಾರ್ಟ್ ರಿಸೀಡಿಂಗ್ ಹರ್ಡ್ ಇಮ್ಯುನಿಟಿ ಇಸ್ ಸಮಥಿಂಗ್ ದಟ್ಸ್ ಆಲ್ರೆಡಿ ದೇರ್ ಬಟ್ ವಿ ನೋ ದ್ಯಾಟ್ ದೇರ್ ಕುಡ್ ಬಿ ಅ ಚಾನ್ಸ್ ಫಾರ್ ರೀ ಇನ್ಫೆಕ್ಷನ್ ಬಟ್ ಹೌ ಓವರ್ ವಾಟ್ ಐ ರಿಯಲೈಸ್ ಇಸ್ ಐ ಥಿಂಕ್ ಹರ್ಡ್ ಇಮ್ಯುನಿಟಿ ವಿಲ್ ಫೈನಲಿ ವಾಟ್ ವಿಲ್ ಪ್ರಿವೆಂಟ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ದಿಸ್ ಇಸ್ ವಾಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಗೋಯಿಂಗ್ ಟು ಬಿ ದ ಟ್ರೆಂಡ್ ಐ ಥಿಂಕ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಫ್ಯೂಚರ್ ಆಲ್ ಆಫ್ ಅಸ್ ವಿಲ್ ಡೆವಲಪ್ ಆ್ಯಂಟಿಬಾಡೀಸ್ ಅಟ್ಲೀಸ್ಟ್ ರಿಲೇಟಿವ್ಲಿ ಗುಡ್ ವಾನ್ಸ್ ದ ಐ ಜಿ ಜಿ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ದೆನ್ ಐ ಥಿಂಕ್ ದಟ್ ವಿಲ್ ಪ್ರೊಟೆಕ್ಟ್ ಅಸ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಲಾಂಗ್ ರನ್ ವಾಟ್ ಡಸ್ ಪೋಸ್ಟ್ ಕೋವಿಡ್ ಕೇರ್ ಇನ್ ಅವರ್ ಇನ್ಸ್ಟಿಟ್ಯೂಷನ್ ಮೀನ್ ಎನಿ ಪೇಷಂಟ್ ದಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಗಾನ್ ಹೋಮ್ ಆಫ್ಟರ್ ದ ಇನಿಷಿಯಲ್ ಅಕ್ಯೂಟ್ ಕೇರ್ ವಿಲ್ ಬಿ ಟೇಕನ್ ಕೇರ್ ಆಫ್ ಬೈ ದನ್ ಫಾರ್ ದ ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ಟೂ ವೀಕ್ಸ್ ವಿತ್ ಅ ವರ್ಚುವಲ್ ಕೋವಿಡ್ ಕೇರ್ ಸಿಚುವೇಶನ್ ಬಟ್ ಆರ್ ಫಿಸಿಷಿಯನ್ಸ್ ಆರ್ ಅವೈಲೇಬಲ್ ಫಾರ್ ದೆಮ್ ಆರ್ ನರ್ಸಿಂಗ್ ವಿಲ್ ಬಿ ಅವೈಲೇಬಲ್ ಫಾರ್ ದೆಮ್ ಇಸ್ ಅ ಡೇ ಟು ಡೇ ಮಾನಿಟರಿಂಗ್ ಸೊ ದೇ ಆರ್ ಟೇಕನ್ ಗುಡ್ ಕೇರ್ ಆಫ್ ಇಟ್ ಸಬ್ಸಿಕ್ವೆಂಟ್ ಟು ದ್ಯಾಟ್ ದಟ್ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ಒನ್ ಮಂತ್ ಪಾಸ್ ಫಾಲೋಯಿಂಗ್ ದ ಡಯಾಗ್ನೋಸಿಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಕೋವಿಡ್ ವಿ ವುಡ್ ಲೈಕ್ ದ ಪೇಷಂಟ್ ಟು ಕಮ್ ಅವರ್ ಅಸೆಸ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಡನ್ ಪ್ರೋಟೋಕಾಲ್ಸ್ ಆರ್ ಲೇಡ್ ಡೌನ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ದೆನ್ ವಿ ವುಡ್ ಲುಕ್ ಅಟ್ ವಾಟ್ ಆರ್ ದ ಮ್ಯಾನಿಫೆಸ್ಟೇಷನ್ ಆಫ್ ಕೋವಿಡ್ ಅ ಪರ್ಟಿಕ್ಯುಲರ್ ಪೇಷಂಟ್ ಹೆಸ್ ಗಾಟ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಬೇಸ್ಡ್ ಆನ್ ವೆದರ್ ಇಟ್ಸ್ ಅ ಕಾರ್ಡಿಯಾಲಜಿಕಲ್ ಇಶ್ಯೂ ಅ ಪಲ್ಮನರಿ ಇಶ್ಯೂ ಮಸ್ಕುಲರ್ ಸ್ಕೆಲೆಟಲ್ ಇಶ್ಯೂ ಆರ್ ವೆರ್ ಇಸ್ ಅ ನ್ಯೂರಾಜಿಕಲ್ ಇಶ್ಯೂ ಪೇಷಂಟ್ ವಿಲ್ ಬಿ ಟೇಕನ್ ಕೇರ್ ಆಫ್ ಬೈ ದ ಇಂಡಿವಿಜುವಲ್ ಸ್ಪೆಷಲಿಸ್ಟ್ ಒನ್ ದ ಇಂಡಿವಿಜುವಲ್ ಸ್ಪೆಷಲಿಸ್ಟ್ ಆ್ಯಕ್ಚುಲಿ ಮೇಕ್ಸ್ ಅ ಡಯಾಗ್ನೋಸಿಸ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ದೆನ್ ದ ಟ್ರೀಟ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ವಿಲ್ ಸ್ಟಾರ್ಟ್ ಫಾರ್ ದೆನ್ ಅಲಾಂಗ್ ವಿತ್ ದ್ಯಾಟ್ ವಿ ಥಿಂಕ್ ಒನ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಮೇಜರ್ ಏರಿಯಾಸ್ ವುಡ್ ಬಿ ರಿಹ್ಯಾಬಿಲಿಟೇಷನ್ ವಿ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಒನ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಬೆಸ್ಟ್ ರಿಹ್ಯಾಬಿಲಿಟೇಷನ್ ಸೆಂಟರ್ಸ್ ಇನ್ ಅವರ್ ಕಂಟ್ರಿ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಐ ಥಿಂಕ್ ವಿ ವಿಲ್ ಮೇಕ್ ಅಸ್ ಎ ವೆರಿ ಗುಡ್ ಇಂಪ್ರೆಷನ್ ಟು ಲಾಟ್ ಆಫ್ ದಿಸ್ ಪೇಷಂಟ್ ದ ಆಬ್ಜೆಕ್ಟಿವ್ ಆಫ್ ಅ ಪೋಸ್ಟ್ ಕೋವಿಡ್ ಕೇರ್ ಇಸ್ ಓನ್ಲಿ ಒನ್ ಗೆಟ್ ದ ಪೇಷಂಟ್ ಬ್ಯಾಕ್ ಟು ಇಸ್ ನಾರ್ಮಲ್ ಸ್ಟೇಟ್ ಆಸ್ ಸೂನ್ ಆಸ್ ಪಾಸಿಬಲ್ ಅ ಸ್ಟ್ರಾಂಗ್ ಮ್ಯಾನೇಜ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ಸಪೋರ್ಟ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ವಿಲ್ಲಿಂಗ್ನೆಸ್ ಟು ಥಿಂಕ್ ಔಟ್ ಆಫ್ ದಿ ಬಾಕ್ಸ್ a commitment towards the suffering people has helped us in our venture to fight this virus it has been the philosophy of this institution to be in the forefront of serving society whenever any major problem is faced by society and when this pandemic started in this country our management decided to volunteer to create an isolation ward of more than 200 beds and also make a cash donation of 30 million rupees to the pm cares fund and the gm chief minister's relief fund so that we join hands effectively with the government to fight the pandemic and serve the society given its virulent spread we have been able to overcome